Who's ready for a championship match? Surprisingly enough, not really anymore. It just feels weird to see Seth Rollins come out again after his previous open challenge got delayed by the OC in Judgment Day. Also, I won't lie, the saddest fact heading into tonight is Seth Rollins is, as of right now, the only male champion on the entire show of Monday Night Raw. Seriously, when is WWE going to man up and put the WWE title and Raw tag team titles back where they belong? This is getting ridiculous. Listen to the WWE Universe. I mean, I would listen, but this crowd is absolutely silent for practically everything throughout the night. Won't lie, I enjoyed Seth Rollins when he had the blonde streak in his hair. However, almost his entire head is blonde now. He's starting to look less like Seth Rollins and more like old school Edge. Ten years of Seth Rollins. Which unfortunately caused a lot of internet marks to accuse WWE of not adding Dean Ambrose into the celebration, completely misunderstanding what was really being celebrated. Can't celebrate ten years of Dean when he was only there for seven. I made this the title to have. Because it's literally the only title to have on Raw. Seth didn't really do anything about that. It just was. Mustafa Ali is kind of an idiot if you think about it. Instead of heading down to the ring to accept Seth's open challenge, Mustafa sets up a video on the Titan Tron so that he could be prone to attacks. I'm gonna be the one. Must have slipped on a banana peel that magically appeared. <laughs> Seth Rollins is probably wondering if he has to postpone his open challenge the next week after more interruptions and brawls take place. I accept your challenge. Bobby Lashley also accepts Seth's challenge, but then proceeds to beat the crap out of him and doesn't even get the match. Hell, this was his chance to recreate what Seth did to him four weeks prior thanks to Brock Lesnar. Damn, it's crazy that the United States Championship was whacked out of Seth's hands when Bobby Lashley attacked him, yet it's perfectly standing on display in the corner of the ring. Magic is real. Bobby Lashley ends up attacking Austin Theory later down the line when the latter cashes in his Money in the Bank contract. My honest question, if Bobby didn't want Austin to go after the United States Championship either, why not just attack him right now at this very moment on the stage? Since the match never started, technically the open challenge was still, well, open. And it somehow did not register to Austin Theory that he could just tell the referee, Hey, I accept the open challenge right now since Bobby did not get his match. Worst case scenario, referee said no and Austin would say, oh well, worth a shot. Also, the idea of cashing in on mid-card championships after over 15 years of wrestlers cashing in the Money in the Bank contract on world championships kind of destroys the entire purpose of the concept. It would be intriguing that any champion can be cashed in on, but that should have been done at least once or twice in the first five years. Also, also, does this mean the women can technically cash in on the WWE Championship if they wanted to, since there aren't any logical rules here? And there goes his title! Oh. Throughout the match, Kevin Patrick jinxes Austin Theory's momentum by prematurely declaring him the winner, to which Seth Rollins kicks out of the pin. Look at the rubber pedigree! Copy Rollins infringement. Although, that could have honestly been a kick-ass way for Austin to win the United States Championship by hitting Seth's pedigree. Oh. Again, why didn't Bobby just attack Austin on the fucking stage if he was always going to do this? Dumb as this probably would sound, why didn't Austin just say, Hey man, let's make a deal. If I win the US title, you'll be first in line. It worked for The Miz when he became WWE champ- Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Apparently, Austin Theory can go from severely injured to, Nah, I'm okay, in less than one second. He's got him! Was Austin Theory not ready for the money in the bank? Obviously. But he should have honestly lost to Roman Reigns, since that's a situation where we already know he's failing to win, plus it'd keep the legitimacy of the Money in the Bank contract. This was honestly worse than Baron Corbin cashing in and losing in less than 10 seconds. At least that was a world title. Cashing in and losing to a mid-card title? There's like no coming back from that. One thousand sins. <laughs>